In part one of this series, I showed you how to set up Gmail and the basics of sending and replying to email as well as setting up your Gmail address book. In this video, part two of my How to Gmail series, I will show you how to set up Gmail to retrieve other email addresses, use filters and labels to organize your email, what a conversation or a thread is and how they work, using the archive button, and lastly, how to handle spam. So the first thing we're going to talk about is how to retrieve your other email addresses. Click settings here at the top of the screen. You might want to do this because you have another email address you don't want to lose or you'd like to retrieve into Gmail to use some of its powerful features. Under settings we're going to click accounts. Scroll to the bottom and where it says get mail from other accounts click the option add another mail account. Click that and you're going to get a nice little easy to fill out form that we're going to type in an email address for. Type in your email address, not mine. Click Next Step. At this stage is the only technical part you have to know. And if you don't know the technical information for retrieving your email, then you're going to want to contact your email provider and get this information. If you're using a program like Outlook, Outlook Express, you can copy those settings from there. So know what you need to put in for your username and password. I always use password as my password. Makes it nice and easy to remember. And then I'm going to, under my pop server, I have to know what my pop server name is in order to retrieve this email. And then know the port number. Generally it's 110. If it's not, your internet provider or your email provider will let you know what it is. Then you can use these checkboxes here to apply different options for this email address. And a couple of them we're going to talk about here in a minute is how to use labels and how to use the archive function. So once you fill down that form, click Add Account, and you will have a new account. You can add as many email accounts as you want to retrieve within Gmail. Let's talk about labels before we talk about filtering, because most of the time you're going to use a filter to add a label. Labels are what Gmail uses instead of folders to help you organize your email. One major advantage I like about using labels versus folders is that I can apply multiple labels to a single email. And that makes it much easier to find email as you go through your massive amount of email that you might save. So we're going to show you how to create a couple of labels first and then how to use the filtering tools within Gmail to automatically organize some of your email. The first place we're going to go is settings here at the top, then click labels, then at the bottom here you just simply create a new label. So I'm going to type in here PC World, then click create, and then I'm going to create one called YouTube. So back in the inbox I'm going to show you the easy way to create a filter. So I'm going to click on YouTube service here. So I'm going to click on one of my YouTube videos, then I'm going to click under more actions and choose filter messages like these. When I choose this option, Gmail will help me build the filter quite easily. I'll click it. It automatically sees that I have quite a few emails that can apply to this filter if I so desire. So the create a filter form says if I want all emails from this address to apply to a certain filter, just go ahead and click next step. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I can add more things if I'd like here. but I'm just going to say no. Go to next step. I'm going to tell it to automatically skip the inbox, and that's going to mean archive. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes. And then I'm going to say apply the label, and I'm going to choose from my choices of labels, YouTube. And then I'm going to say apply it to those conversations that are down below here already, and then click create filter. If I go back to my inbox, I can see that all of the YouTube messages that were in my inbox are now gone. And the reason why is I chose archive, which hides them from my inbox. And then I created this YouTube filter. If I click it, it automatically shows all the emails related to YouTube. So let's go back to Inbox. We're going to create another filter for PC World. I have four messages from PC World right here. And I'm going to create a filter from scratch for those. So we'll click Settings, click Filters, scroll to the bottom, create a new filter. I get my form for creating a filter. This time I'm going to type in PC World. I don't have to know their address because Gmail is so smart that it knows if any PC World is even anywhere in the name, it's going to pick it up. So I'm going to click Next Step. Again, I want to skip the inbox. I don't want to see these emails every single day. I want to have them go to their own label. Click Apply Label. Find my PC World 
label and then say apply it to those four emails we saw in the inbox and create it. In my inbox those four PC World emails are now gone. If I click over on the side I can see PC World has two unread messages and two read messages. Now the way I can see that they're unread is over here on the left in the label section here for example under YouTube I see that it's bold and there's a numeral in bold. That shows me I have four unread messages in YouTube. So that's how labels and filters can work to save you a lot of time and organize your email. I've talked a little bit about archive through that label and filter section. All archive means is, is that if I have an email that I don't want to be poking me in the eye in the inbox but I do want to save it, I can simply click that particular email and then click the archive button it disappears from my inbox but it is still available to me in the all mail section. And if I click there it shows me all mail. So that's all the archive is. The archive is just hiding email from the inbox or saving email somewhere else on your system not necessarily in a label. So explore labels and filters and archives and I think you're going to find that that's a very nice way to organize your email. Now a couple quick things before we end this part two video, one I want to show conversations. In Gmail, a great thing that I think they've done is organize emails by conversations. As long as folks don't change the subject, which a lot of people usually don't, in their replies back and forth to each other, you will find that Gmail organizes those conversations all in a row. So here's a conversation I've had recently with a local business contact, and we've had five or six or so replies back and forth. So instead of having to constantly look through my sent email and find an email related to this particular conversation, Google automatically puts them all in a row and I can choose from them very, very quickly. Now if I want to see all of them at one time, I can use this button over here that says expand all and now I can read my email almost as if it was a chat. So I can see the first email that was sent and then I can scroll down and see the other emails related to that first email. So that's what a conversation is. That feature alone is to me puts Gmail far and above any other system that I have currently tried out. So there's part two on how to use Gmail. In part three we're going to go a little bit deeper into Gmail so stay tuned.